Hey guys, got this unboxing and assembly and usage on this shoe rack. Here's the product info. All right, here's all the parts. Got two pieces of wood here. Got four number ones, four number sixes, two number threes, eight screens, a couple of legs, and then a one-off leg here with these, with these things. Here's all the screws. We got A, B, C, and D, and I see there's an Allen wrench in there. So these are gonna be Allen head screws and fasteners. Okay, here's the, the B fasteners. You got A, B, C, and D. We're, we're tapping into the, uh, the B section. And four, it says times four, times four, into the, uh, the threaded portion of these screens here. One thing I like to do when I'm doing this is match the same direction of the piece I'm working on. So this one, I'm, I've inserted the two, the two fasteners in there, just as shown in the picture. One down here and one down here. Right this second, I don't know if we're supposed to install them all the way. I'm gonna kind of leave them loose for now. And same thing for this side. I'm gonna take one of these, face it this way. And I'm gonna put those in the other end here. Okay, I get it now. What they're saying is do do four this way and do four this way. That way you can slide it in. We're gonna put this together on the next step and then we're gonna put them together that way. So we're gonna do four like this with the screws facing that way. And we're gonna do four with the same screws facing this way. So we're gonna put screws in all eight of these but four of them are going to face this way, four of them are going to face that All right, I've got four of these, four of these shelves here. I've got all the, the B fasteners facing this way, and then four with them facing that. Now what we're going to do is, as shown here, we're going to take this number four, which I've got right here. The number four is different because it has these things sticking out. See, these other ones don't. So that's what the number four one is. And we're going to take these number threes and screw them in here gonna go like that obviously we'll take the stickers off when we're done but the number threes are gonna go on just like that and you know you got it lined up right see the hole there there's only one hole right right there it lines up with oh, yeah right there and that's what we're gonna screw into make this connection with the B fasteners as well Okay, there's the B fasteners on the inside. Inside, again, four and two pieces of threes. Snug these down nice and good here. And that side too. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact same idea. We're gonna take the number two here and we're gonna screw the number ones in the bottom here. So here's the number ones, put that little Thing on there it's just gonna pop right up into there number two there I've got the number one going in yeah for this setup for the one and to the two there's actually no screws that go in there you might think that oh it might be another B screw like the other side it's not there's nothing to thread into so these things do just sit in there and we're gonna do two of these so we're gonna do the two into the one and we're gonna do the same thing here so we've got another two Right there, and then we're going to take two of our ones, just go right in there. It is a nice tight fit, so they're not going to just slide out, but that will need to be fastened, which we'll do down the road here. Got two of these. Okay, just kind of showing you what I'm doing here. I'm going to take this side, and I kind of snug those down a little bit. Really, all you need them to stick out is just the thickness of the metal here, but they'll go in just like this. Hang them on there for now. We can even tighten that up. Kind of lean this up against the table here just to hold it. Okay, now what I got here is this is already partially built. Now I need to take this up here. I'm going to come on this side and screw that in here with the the screws labeled A. I'm gonna hook this together. Here's the screws with the, the A and the A section it upright, and then insert these 
and there, eight of them. Okay, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So we put this on that, and then uh, just gonna add these two bottom screws. I'm leaving everything kind of loose right now. These things are just sitting in there. Get light on that. So, you know, I could have even tightened those up a little bit. What happens is we're gonna tighten them from this side once we get once we get this thing kind of loosely fit up. So just got these bottom ones to put in. So just put it in there, line that up, and then go in there. Go ahead and tighten all these on this side. We'll go ahead and tighten these all the way. One thing you can do is get a a bit for your cordless drill. It's the same size as a sound wrench. It'll save you a ton of time. Tighten all eight of these down manually here for now. Okay, we've got half of it kind of set up. So this side we, we tightened all the way here's where the uh, top pieces are going to go the top boards right now what we need to do is hook the other shelves in but before we hook the other shelves in, we have to tighten up these screws here and that can be done right through here Oops. okay the thing to remember on this step is to kind of push this down and then with your other hand tighten this up got it already tight same for this side when you're doing this side, push that down and then stick that through there. While you're pushing down, tighten that up. So I need to do the same thing for all this. One, two, three more. Okay, now this baby's solid. Now it's time to hang the other shelves from here. So we'll take these. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to take this side right here. We'll just start hanging these. Just like that that but what I recommend before we do that is we're gonna cinch that up as much as we can because we won't have access to that back side to do what we did with this other side so we'll cinch these down as tight as we can to make a nice tight fit so it so it pops in there okay, what you want this is right about that length right there right about there and you'll see it'll kind of it's a snug fit and it'll pop in there we go that's what we want. Do the same thing for three more. Now it's time to add the, the legs that go on that side. We'll tighten these down really tight. We'll do the same thing, we'll just work our way down. Cross members here. This number six is. Okay, this is kind of fun. So uh, here, it's kind of like a uh, some threads. You pop it through there, and tighten tighten those down together like that. And then you'll put some A's, four A's on the ends. A's being these, C's. And you get two of them right there. I'll show you. There's the C's right there. Sticking the C's right into the sixes. I'm going to take this and kind of run it through this way. I'm going to do that hole there. All right, and that way the other one. I kind of do it simultaneously. And then the A's are going to go on the ends to secure the, the ends of those. We'll take the remaining two, and this one's going to kind of thread into there with it. So you'll thread it through there into the end of that. Link these on there evenly if you can so they both line up square with the sides. So that's the piece we just put on there. Now we'll take these, come to the end here and screw it into there. very last step that's getting these babies on there Two pieces of wood here okay, you want to hold those 
brass holders to line up here. Two A's. Come up here. Okay, what I did with this one here is I just put this up in here too and I set the board down on it to make sure my hole was lining up. Make sure that was lining up with it. Now what we'll do is we'll just take and tighten these up. stickers when you're done all right now the very last step is to put D into the bottom of these or you're not scratching your floor and you can make sure it's all even take these and just screw them right into the bottom here you can adjust these as necessary I'm gonna just go ahead and tighten them all the way down 